Now, many people are wondering just how much bottled water they might need to get through this crisis. Our Alicia Roberts has that part of the story. Deliveries of bottled water like this one Monday night at the 7-Eleven in Spring Garden can't come soon enough for Philadelphia residents trying to stock up. I was at work, so I got friends and family to get water for me. Mom Tynesha Martin says she's frustrated with the way city officials have handled the messaging following Friday night's chemical leak in Bristol. And the fact that they just alarmed everyone and didn't give them a plan on what to do is beyond. Officials have been advising people and businesses who could be impacted to have an emergency three-day supply of water on hand. So just how much is that? FEMA says a normally active person needs to drink at least half a gallon of water each day. They also recommend keeping another gallon on hand per person for food preparation and, if needed, hygiene. Maggie Foster was able to grab two of the last bottles left at her grocery store as the new deadline looms. All the shelves for the water aisle and like the drink aisle were empty, and it was like exactly how like toilet paper and stuff was when COVID was happening. Okay, why does the needle keep moving on what's safe and what's not? While some lucked out, others like Hillary Weinstein have been unable to find any so far. For now, she's storing her tap in reusable bottles, left only to wait and trust the experts. Obviously, I'd love to have enough bottled water to last me, but I don't, so I have to take their word for it at the same time. So I'm doing whatever they say, so I keep filling up bottles. Alicia Roberts, CBS News, Philadelphia. Alicia, thank you. We will continue digging for answers, and you can count on us bringing you up to the minute developments on these water worries. To see if your drinking water could be potentially affected, we have that map with zip codes on our website, cbsphiladelphia.com.